All right, guys, welcome back. This is Mr. Wallen again. So let's look at this week's assignment. This week's assignment is the Disk Mover Challenge. Um, so what this is, is for level one, we have to use our magnet to pick up um, three different disks and place them into any color. We are just going to stick with blue because our robot starts right here in this blue square. And so we are going to move up. We're going to pick up this one, bring it back. We're going to pick up the second one, bring it back. Pick up the third one, bring it back. And drop them off here. For level two, what we have to do is we have to pick up one disk of each color and place it back into their corresponding color. So blue goes to blue, red goes to red, green goes to green. And then for level three, you have to pick up one of each color. And in each square, you have to end up with one of each color. So the blue square needs a blue disk, a red disk, and a green disk. The red square, same. The green square, same. Um, some helpful hints. The grid is 200 by 200. So if I want my robot to go up one square, it goes up 200. Um, and for our block to pick up things, we're going to use this energized magnet block to either boost, which is pick up, or drop. So let's dive right into our code. Um, so first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to set my drive velocity and turn velocity to 100%. There we go. After that, we are going to drive forward for 800. Oh, let's pull up our playground that we need. Disk mover. And I'm going to make it bigger, so hopefully you guys can see it better. <coughs> so we're going to drive forward for 800. We're going to turn on our magnet. Then we are going to drive in reverse for 800 and we will turn off our magnet at that point nope right as that'll pick up the first one bring it back down now essentially what we're going to do is we are going to use this a whole bunch of times so one of the things i can do is if i click on this drive forward and hit Control c it will copy it and i can hit Control v and it pastes it again right um the copy starts wherever you click, and it copies everything below it. So if I were to have copied it, set drive velocity, control C, control V, it copies all of that as well. Um, but I don't need that, so I'm just going to copy there. And now all I need to do is change this from 800 to 1200. Then we reverse for 1,200. And then we do the same thing again. Sorry about that. Not sure what that error was. Um, we drive forward for 1,600. And we go forward for another 1,600. So this should be level one. Let's see if we did it right. We go first disk. Second disk. And we got our third disk. Great. So we got all three of our disks, and they're all in here. So at this point, I would save this. Mr. Wallen Disk Mover Level 1. Rename it to that. Again, I file, save to your device, and it saves in my downloads down there. So now I'm going to move on to Level 2. I'm going to save my velocities. And I'm just going to rename this immediately so I don't save over that one. Level 2. So what we're going to do is we'll reset this. We have to go forward 800, and we're going to pick up. Um, another thing I'm going to start to do in here is I'm going to start to add a comment. So this is going to be my blue disk. This isn't really necessary for this one, but it will help a lot in level 3. So I'm going to drive forward 800. Then I'm going to uh, energize my magnet again. Then I'm going to drive in reverse for 800. Then I'm going to drop my magnet. Right, so then I've come up here. I've, got, I've come up here, got my magnet, come back. Now I need to move over to red. So I'm going to turn right for 90 degrees. Then I'm going to drive forward 800. 
then I'm going to turn left for 90 degrees. And essentially, I'm going to repeat this a couple more times, right? Because now I'm over here in red, and so I'll add a comment for red disk, and then I'm going to also add a comment. Oh, actually, let's keep these off right now. Because I'm going to click here and hit Control C. So I'll add a comment for red disk, and then I'm also going to add a comment for our green disk. Then I can paste and put this right in there. And then I can paste again and put this right in here. And then I actually don't need to turn after the green disk. So if I did this one right, um, we should go up, we pick up our blue disk, we drop it in the blue. We move, move over to red, pick up red, drop it in red. And finally, we're all we're going to do the same thing in green. So that's level one and level two. Now, I'm not going to show you guys how to do level three, um, because I feel like I can't just give you all the answers, and I want you guys to work for it. But you can do something very similar, um, where again, you're just creating commands. And next, I would have my robot maybe go up, grab green, and then move over to red, drop it in red. It's going to then move over and grab red, move over, drop it in blue, grab this blue, move over, drop it in red, grab this red, move over, drop it in green, grab this green, move over, drop it in blue, grab this blue, move over, drop it in green. And I think you'll have them all then. Um, but something I would do in, in there is instead of just naming this blue disk, I might name it blue to blue. That way, if at the end you find yourself missing a disk or something's gone wrong, it's easier to look and say, okay, well, right here, blue was supposed to end up in blue, so what went wrong here, right? So if you kind of just add simple comments like that, that say, hey, this next chunk of code, that's what's supposed to be happening, it's going to be helpful. So I look forward to um, seeing you guys get this done. Um, I hope you guys are all staying safe and healthy during this time of quarantine. And I look forward to seeing you guys in class again. All right. Have a great day.